is NASCAR Throwback Weekend, so let's take a look at some of the best and worst throwback paint schemes for this year. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt, and yes, it is Throwback Weekend once again. It used to be the Southern 500. Last few years, it's moved to the spring for the Goodyear 400. And like every year, there's some winners, there's some losers. People, of course, have their fan favorites. When Brad threw it back to the Black Miller Light, Rusty Walls paint scheme, Dale Jr.'s Gray Ghost, or the plethora of William Byron, Jeff Gordon throwbacks, everybody always kind of has a favorite, and then this year is going to be no different. So let's look at what the Cup Series has on offer for us. The biggest winner, team-wise, has to be Hendrick Motorsports. The number five car of Kyle Larson is throwing it back to Terry Labonte in that Kellogg's paint scheme. And this is perfect. It's the Sam Bass uh, renaissance over at Hendrick Motorsports this year. This car looks great. Even HendrickCars.com changed their font to match what the Kellogg's used to look like. Larson has the matching suit. He's going to go out there and drive this car like it's 1996. And he's Terry Labonte disrupting Jeff Gordon's four championship in a row streak. On the flip side... If we're talking about Terry Labonte, we also have to talk about Dale Earnhardt because, of course, the two are tied together, right? After those Bristol races in the 90s when he just wanted to rattle his cage a little bit. Austin Dillon is running a great-looking Dale Earnhardt senior throwback uh, from 1998 when he ran that gold Bass Pro throwback as well. He... Uh, it was the 50th anniversary of NASCAR, then 50th anniversary of Bass Pro Shops this year. Some people are upset that the door number f color is wrong. Uh, it's white this year. It was black uh, back in 1998. I don't think that Kyle's going to have to worry about uh, Austin getting up there and rattling his cage, though. But I am appreciative that there are two iconic paint schemes from two legends of the sport in this race, especially two that are tied together like that with one of NASCAR's most famous moments. Back to Hendrick Motorsports, though. You also have Chase Elliott. He is running the 2014 Dale Jr. throwback to the National Guard. Great looking scheme. Once again, uh, it's a great way for him to honor his dad too, right? Uh, last year, he honored his one dad, Bill Elliott, with his Everham throwback. This year, he honors his other dad, Dale Jr., uh, with a 2014 National Guard throwback. The one that sent the internet crazy into thinking Dale Jr. is coming back for the All-Star race. You also have William Byron. He has a 2009 Jeff Gordon throwback when the DuPont scheme had the base black with the flames on it as well. Some people are upset about the gradient. Well, let me tell you, the uh, Hendrick Motorsports auto painter back in back in 2009 when they actually used to paint cars, he changed that gradient transition every other week seemingly. Some weekends it was up on the nose, some weekends it was down by the grill, getting closer to the splitter. It was just kind of whatever he was feeling like that week. And honestly, I really love that. I love the little imperfections and kind of the creative liberties people used to take. And then you also have Alex Bowman with a iconic Jimmy Johnson throwback. You know, the standard Lowe's paint scheme, the blue base with the day glow yellow numbers on the side. People are going to see it on track and be like, ah, oh, shit, he's back to win another championship now. He really wants to get that eighth. Hendrick Motorsports knocked it out of the park. They had easily the best. Uh, like I said, I think the Austin Dillon one is really good as well. Trackhouse has two throwbacks for both of their cars. And while they've nailed on the last few years, they had a bit of a drop off this year. Rosh Essain is doing a Bush beer throwback, not to anything in particular, just an older looking Bush paint scheme. And it looks fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Like that's a great looking car. It's just not maybe up to par with other things we've seen uh, Trackhouse do in years prior. They had the Coca-Cola scheme two years ago. They had the UPS scheme last year, the Dale Jarrett throwback. And then this year, slight drop off, but I get it. You also have Daniel Suarez throwing it back to his countryman, Adrian Fernandez, uh, from the IndyCar days when he had Quaker State on the side. You want to say Quaker Steak? I want to say Quaker Steak. It's Quaker State. Why they made those two the same, so confusing. But he has Quaker State, the oil company, on the side of the car. And they even changed the number font, which I absolutely love. Anytime that they will change the number font on these throwbacks because it looks really good. The RFK Racing admin bullied me into including Brad Kozlowski on TikTok. And it's not because I didn't want to. I just have forgotten about Brad. Great throwback for him. He's throwing it back to uh, the 2000s, the early 2000s, for the Japanese Super GT Series and Tom's Castrol Supra. If you play Gran Turismo back in the day, you absolutely play with this car at one point or another. And Brad will be have, uh, racing it on track this weekend. And again, looks great. Castro always has great schemes just in general. Not even their throwbacks, but just in general. They look really, really good. Chris Buescher is not doing a, a throwback as well. Martin Truex Jr., probably one of the losers. He is throwing it back to himself from 2016 when he won the Southern 500. Kind of lame, not really that fun, but if that's what the sponsor wants, then that's what they're going to do. Sticking with Joe Gibbs Racing and lame throwbacks, you also have Christopher Bell. He is throwing it 
back with his sponsor DeWalt for DeWalt's 100th year anniversary. Not to anything in particular. Could have picked Matt Kenza. Could have picked Marcos Ambrose. No, instead, they just did their own thing. And while it's not a terrible looking paint scheme, it's not in the spirit of the throwback weekend. So why run it here is kind of just my general thought. Harrison Burton throwing it back to Lynn Wood. Uh, again, it's a decent looking paint scheme. I appreciate that they changed the font and everything like that. The car is not going to be in contention at any point. So this is probably the one photo uh, that you see of it going into into the weekend there. You also have Zane Smith at Spire doing a Dave Marcus throwback. And if he's not wearing wingtips, what was the point of this entire thing? Uh, they're not SFI certified. Ask Joey Logano. They have to be SFI certified or else you get hit with a big fine. Regardless, it would be cool <laughs> to see him at least walk down uh, pit road with that. The Stuart Haas Racing Team. The number four car of Josh Berry is throwing it back to his crew chief, Ronnie Childers. The 41 of Ryan Priest is throwing it back to himself from the modified days, I believe, in 2016. And then Chase Briscoe is throwing it back to his dad's sprint car, which is great. Chase Briscoe, I feel like he always does family throwbacks, which has to mean a lot for him, and I completely understand that. I just think sometimes that maybe gets lost on fans who don't have that connection to it the same way that they do with a Dale Earnhardt throwback or something else. But again, I appreciate them changing it up. Corey LaJoy throwing it back to himself as well from his first K&N E-Series victory at Bowman Gray Stadium. I get it was I get the spirit behind it just I don't think was executed that well the colors are off the fonts off everything about it it's just kind of off but the spirit I understand Tyler Reddick has a really good throwback as well that number 45 money lion car will be throwing it back to Tim Richmond 1982 I love simple designs I don't need a lot of splashy things on the side of it this is a ultra simple design and I think it looks really clean and nice no word on if Bubba Wallace is doing a throwback he does have McDonald's on the car this weekend it would be amazing to see a Bill Elliott McDonald's throwback on it I guess we'll have to wait and see but I'm not sure if they're actually doing one. And then Todd Gillen, rounding out the Cup Series throwbacks, uh, is doing one to himself from his first Cars Tour victory. And honestly, I love the font on the side of this, especially the number font. Uh, I would love to see Front Road go to a different font. Don't love their font right now. The same way I don't love the Spire font either. Moving on to the Xfinity Series. I think the Xfinity Series, as the youths say, absolutely cooked this year. I think they probably have the best throwbacks out of anybody. And we're going to start with Alpha Prime Racing because the number 43 car of Ryan Ellis is throwing it back to the City Chevrolet from Days of Thunder. Anytime you do a Days of Thunder throwback, people are going to flock to that and appreciate it. They're iconic. And this car does it really well. Once again, they got the sponsor to fit into the sponsor throwback uh, that it needed to. Looks great. Their 44 car of Brennan Poole. Again, looks amazing. It is the Kyle Petty Hot Wheels throwback. And the number 44 car, they got the font. They got the sponsor to also fit into the Hot Wheels logo. The whole graphic they put out, great. Whoever did all of that, hats off to you because that thing looks really, really good. And I'm excited to see it on track. Also in the Xfinity Series, you have Cole Custer doing a Johnny Sauter Haas CNC throwback to the orange trucking paint scheme. And if you remember that from back in the early 2000s, that was the Tiger Stripe one. And it was an iconic car. It just was. It was very noticeable on track. And I think that's why we, we view it as iconic. And Cole's getting a chance to run it as well. Hopefully, we get to see him try to get that car up front and take it to Victory Lane because it would look amazing sitting in Victory Lane at Darlington. Brandon Jones is throwing it back to Dale Jr. from like 2018, which is fine. But I still think that like Dale Jr. could just probably hop in the Hellman's car this year and run that same paint scheme. And everybody would be like, all right, it's just a little different. Sammy Smith has a clean looking throwback. And Justin Allgaier also is running a Brandt throwback, but to Brandt's old branding, not to anything in particular. Again, I get it if the sponsor wants to do a throwback to themselves, but fans just have zero connection to to any of that. Shane Van Gisbergen may have the best throwback in the Xfinity series. He is doing a Marcos Ambrose throwback, of course, former V8 supercar driver, the same place that SVG came from. He's throwing it back to the number nine car that he had at Petty when they had DeWalt sponsorship. Same paint scheme, and they even got the number font to match, which is chef's kiss to it because I, like I said before, I love when they change the number font because it's in the spirit of the throwback and I appreciate a sponsor that loves it. Quick note though, Quadlock is the sponsor of his car this weekend. And if you cycle, mountain bike, anything like that, and you don't have a quad lock, you, lock, you should absolutely look into it because it is a great investment. And my road bike and my stationary uh, indoor bike both have it. And I can't say enough good things about it. So 
free plug for them. You can hop on and sponsor if you want to. We also have Sheldon Creed doing a Ivan Iron Man Stewart throwback, the former uh, Baja 1000 racer, the off-road racer that was a factory Toyota guy for, I think, ever, maybe. I met him one time in Erlanger, Kentucky, of all places. Nice guy. The Toyota throwback colors, though, that yellow, the orange, the red, the white, the black, how they kind of all mix them together and do that staggered great. Love it. I can't stress enough. I want it to be a permanent fixture on the Cup Series or in any series. Just always have that paint scheme on a car at some point. Those colors, uh, they're iconic. They raced them in endurance racing. They raced them in off-road racing. They've raced them now in NASCAR. Just always have a car like that out there. And then on the other side, John Hunter Niemicek driving for Sam Hunt this weekend is doing one that is somewhat similar, but with a black base. So hats off to Toyota for making sure that they're going out there and getting things done. But yeah, I think that the Xfinity series did a great job with their throwbacks this year in the truck series. Really good ones there as well. Daniel Dye in the number 43 truck is throwing it back to Kyle Petty uh, during his Sabco days in the cup series with that peak antifreeze paint scheme. Uh, the only thing missing is the number font, but again, the truck actually matches a lot to what Kyle Petty said or had. And Daniel Dye said last week uh, at Kansas that he has something planned for his hair to be Kyle Petty esque. So I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. Tyler Ankrum is running a Russ Wheeler Days of Thunder throwback. Again, like I said, you put Days of Thunder on anything, people are going to flock to it. Tom Cruise is going to jump on a couch and get excited about it. Maybe we'll get a second Days of Thunder at some point if people keep willing it along, but it's a great-looking truck. Tanner Gray throwing it back to himself from the 2018 NHRA Pro Stock Championship year. Yep, it's a paint scheme. Corey Heim has a Kale Yarbrough paint scheme, much like what I said about the Tyler Reddick, Tim Richmond one. I love a simple paint scheme. This is simplicity and perfection all at the same time here. Taylor Gray, the other Gray that's in the truck series, is doing a Hensley Racing throwback. Again, the Tiger Stripe, an iconic car. The Hensleys will actually be on the box and at the track this weekend on Friday night with the team, which I think is a really cool tie-in as well well so yeah those are most of the throwback paint schemes i'm sure we'll still get a few more that have kind of leaked out and there's some that i probably missed and didn't talk about as well as we approach you know friday saturday and sunday for the cup series race but let me know in the comments which one is your favorite one what was your least favorite one and if you think that this has fatigued out or if you still appreciate a throwback weekend like and subscribe to the channel follow me on tiktok at break hard instagram and twitter at break hard blog